Hi there, this is Helen Tarrant again from Helen. Property Roadshow, you're here with Helen Tarrant, and today I'm actually going to talk about inflation and your commercial property and how that affects the value of your commercial property. It's really interesting because yesterday I was on a phone call with a client and I realized that the inflation for or the CPI, Consumer Price Index, for Queensland and also around the other states were about four to five percent in the last quarter, not this. Quarter, but the two quarters ago so right after pretty much the end of uh, when we started to open up and the end of the um, the pandemic and then this quarter that just passed in December so we haven't got our March quarter yet but the December one which is a lot of uh, rental increases between January and March working off are around that four percent mark now what does that mean for you it means that if it continues to grow in the next let's say um, let's say two, three years time, even adjusting for interest rate rises, the value of your property has just gone up by 4%, almost guaranteed that year, right? So the more inflation, the faster your property value is gonna grow. So what you will see with inflation happening in the next few years, uh, before we could get it under control and they're gonna bring in some monetary policies to curb you know, interest rate rises and to curb the fact that um, there's gonna, you know, property prices are gonna go over, in, uh, you know, over the roof, is that you're gonna find that your property is all of a sudden gonna be worth more because the rental increases in commercial property is gonna be faster and and quicker than in residential residential yes even though at the moment they're, they're record low vacancy rates so there's literally very little low vacancy rate especially in regional when you put the rent up it's only like twenty dollars or fifty dollars a week it's not going to be in lease and bounds whereas in commercial it's directly impacted on the you know, compounding on the base so you get your three percent your four percent and cpis that go up which means that then all of a sudden you get more cash flow in your pocket, but the value of the property starts to go up because of that rental increase. So if you are thinking right now, is this a good time to buy commercial? Have a think about that. The commercial property, can you save as fast as the commercial property is going? With inflation, if you're getting a just a normal 4% rent, rental increase or 4% increase in the value of your property on the back end in just 12 months, that's not including your normal market capital growth. You could be heading towards somewhere like an eight to 10% easily in Metro of your commercial property. Can you save as fast? I mean, that means on a million dollar property is going up by a hundred grand a year. I don't think anybody can save as fast as being getting into the market, which is why right now, if you're thinking of getting into commercial, you really need to jump because as inflation goes up and there's more uh, rent and rental increases compound, you'll find that this spike has long-term effects in the future. So you see, having a property that even if in the next two quarters, ha you know, say the next two quarters where you know, this year, you're gonna get a four or five percent rental increase. And let's say that even after that, in year three and four it plateaus out to back to you know your original which is around two to two and a half percent you still would have had that spike now that spike long adds to the base of your property and then everything else compounds on top so even if it's a little bit of a compounding on top uh, and the and the compound is smaller than five percent a little bit of compounding on top still in the long term means that you probably would have had a spike plateaued out and continue to grow. So it's actually, this inflation, it's actually a God's gift to commercial property because it's gonna increase the value of your property. The other thing is that, the other thing is that when you are doing, when you're looking at commercial property and thinking, okay, how does that impact my long-term goals? Well, the long-term goals for you is so that you can start refinancing sooner because you actually have uh, a much higher spike that's happened right so most of the time you have to wait at 12 months 24 months and or more uh, to 
to actually refinance your commercial property so you can get the maximum value out of your commercial property because your you know CPI increase might be two to two and a half percent but all of a sudden getting a five percent hike and then having the natural market growth means that in within 12 months or sometimes even shorter if you've had other changes in your property you could be refinancing pulling that money out and doing again much quicker so inflation in commercial property is actually a good thing if you are a a property owner it's a bad thing if you're thinking of getting into the market and you're not fast enough to secure a deal because the, the returns are compressing and that you're not saving as fast as the value is growing it is not a great thing when you're a tenant and you're getting a five percent increase in your rent all of a sudden or even a four percent increase and then all of a sudden that starts to compound and your rent starts to go up and it's more than what you budgeted for in your budget but definitely for a commercial property investor it is an absolute godsend and it is something that you should be thankful for and it's something that's actually helped you to accelerate the value of your commercial property again we're talking about a few complex terms and then of course what would happen if um, we have uh, interest rate rises uh, but remember if your inflation is high that's actually a good thing to buffer you against interest rate rises. So if interest rate goes up by a quarter of a percent, but you've had a 4% increase on your base of your commercial property rent, then there's actually, you get squeezed less and there's still more pocket, more money in your pocket and there's more of a buffer for you. So ultimately inflation is actually good for you as a commercial property owner. So again, if you want to understand this, this concept a little bit better, you want to work out what exactly is the right strategy for you, where to invest, where to actually find the right yields for you, do you risk your portfolio. It's a it's a long conversation that's individualized to you that we can do a strategy call with you so we can understand exactly where you're going and plan out and map out for you a pathway. So reach out to me, HelenTarrant.com. Go in there, send me an email, and let's just jump on a call. But in the meantime, there's my son that says hi. <laughs> and we're back traveling for Easter so I'll see you on the next video post some more comments down there let me know what you want for the next video and, um, and let me know uh, if this has been helpful for you thumbs up if it's been helpful for you and um, and in the meantime subscribe hit the bell and uh, we will see you on the next video bye for now say bye bye